If you are in your midlife and suffering with that dreaded feeling of boredom and being stuck in a career rut, please do watch this video. Now let's face it, the daily grind can suck the joy out of even the most amazing job. You wake up, drag yourself to the office and spend 8 hours doing things that used to excite you but now seem to drain your energy. Now irrespective of whether you are running a startup or an executive in an MNC or a or a consultant, the repetition of similar kinds of challenges, similar sounding clients, uh, kind of same jokes in your industry. Um, and the feeling of being there done that starts becoming overwhelming once you've spent two to three decades in your professional career. Now, what is even worse um, is that men do not talk about it. Uh, call it mental conditioning since childhood or the influence of stereotypes in movies that you know, men don't cry kind of imagery. Uh, we do not discuss most of our issues we face during midlife transition. And one of the most important out of the number of dilemmas that we face during midlife is of boredom without career. And and, and also the feeling of stagnation. And here's a good news. Uh, 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 this is not the end of the story. I, I, am, I am 45 myself and started grappling with midlife transition about 4 to 5 years back. Uh, but guess what? You are not alone and there is a way out of this rut. Uh, in today's video, I'll share some practical tips and insights based on hundreds of conversations on the subject as a journalist, author and columnist and, um, and reading up books to better understand midlife and how to deal with the transition. Okay, back to our topic. So guys, career stagnation and boredom is a common battle, right? But it is also an opportunity in disguise. Just the other day, I had a virtual reunion with some old buddies from school. Reliving memories about days when we were all brimming with ambition. Some of us even dreaming of changing the world. Others wanted to make a lot of money. Uh, some wanted to get into top government jobs. Now fast forward two decades uh, and bam. During our call, it felt like many of us were facing the same career issues I have seen in countless others uh, I have interacted with. The spark was gone. Uh, it was replaced by a feeling of being trapped in the daily grind. And it was not restricted to a particular field, by the way. You know, from bureaucrats to businessmen to senior army officials to a senior vice president in an MNC. These were across domains, right? And most of us are going through this phase or or, or will undergo this phase as men. But see, look, it's, 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 it's totally normal to feel stagnant or bored in your career is the point I'm trying to make today. Uh, based on tons of books that I have read on this subject, uh, apart from hundreds of conversations, I can only suggest you to take this as a wake-up call, if I may. It is a sign from above that it is time to shake things up and rediscover your mojo. Now, how do we turn this boredom into a runway for something which is amazing? Let's break it down. Now, step one is dig deep into your forgotten passions. Now, it is time for serious self-reflection. You know, what sets your soul on fire? What skills you have always wanted to develop? Think back into things that excited you before your career took over. And here's a pro tip. You know, just grab a notebook and write down your thoughts. Revisit them regularly and see if any patterns emerge. Maybe your forgotten passion is something which is itching to be rekindled from inside, deep within. You need to explore that. For example, I wanted to be an author and it took over two years of convince, convincing myself to do it. You can save that time, right? Dig deeper and try and find out what you really want to do. Number two, set new goals. One of the biggest issues during midlife is the feeling of lack of purpose. So you need to reignite that sense of purpose. Now, don't get ever overwhelmed by thinking you need a complete career overall. Uh, start small with achievable steps that move you into the right direction. Now, here's the thing. It could be taking an online course, starting a side hustle you've always dreamt of, or even just connecting with people in a different field, or, or maybe all of these together. You know, why not? Every step, no matter how small, will be a, a step towards a next big move. Now, let's move to step three. Embrace change. Now, remember the world is full of opportunities and your experience is highly valuable. Believe in that. Don't be afraid to explore new industries or roles. Sometimes a change of scenery is all it takes to spark new inspiration. You might find your, your perfect fit is somewhere you never expected. 
But before that, your heart and mind should accept that you need a change. And that brings us to step four. Network and build your own tribe. You know, remember those old colleagues or friends or even neighbors you were once close to maybe a decade back and with whom you haven't spoken to in ages. It is time to dust off those connections. See, networking is not just about finding a new job. You know, it is about expanding your horizon and discovering hidden path. And trust me, you'll be surprised that they might be going through the exact dilemma that you are going through. They will empathize with you and most likely would be ready to help. Just pick up the phone and call. LinkedIn can be your good friend here. Reach out to folks, not only your industry, but the field that you are passionate about. Stop going to corporate events where you meet the same faces again and again and again. Look for opportunities to attend the ones where you can meet new people from the field that you are passionate about. And who knows, you know, you might stumble upon the upon the perfect opportunity you have never even uh, knew that existed. If nothing else, uh, you will end up making uh, new friends and exchange ideas with them. Now let us move to step 5 which is staying updated. See the world is constantly evolving and the best way to stay relevant is by keeping your skills sharp. Workshops, uh, industry publications, um, the new AI tools, there are endless resources to feed your professional growth. Uh, learning never stops, just remember that even when you hit midlife, right? Uh, you need to embrace a mindset of uh, continuous improvement and staying curious. Try and attend webinars, enroll in online courses and, and network with industry peers, right? Um, uh, engaging with new ideas and technologies will not only boost your confidence, but will also open up new opportunities for career advancement. I've seen that with a lot of people. You know, staying ahead of the curve and making lifelong uh, learning a priority is what you need to do. But all of the steps are a waste of time unless you follow the step six, which is belief in the comeback. Now, here's the deal. See, a positive mindset is your secret weapon in midlife. Instead of seeing your current situation as a dead end, Try and view it as a detour. Every successful person I have met has faced these moments of stagnation. It's how you respond that makes all the difference. Believe in yourself and know that this is your chance to write a new chapter in your career story. And please remember, you're not alone in this journey. Do not feel shy about reaching out to those who were your maybe mentors earlier, childhood friends or even a midlife career coach. Why not? You know, these, these, these people can offer valuable advice and help you navigate this transition. Try and surround yourself with people who inspire and challenge you to be, uh, to be your best. You try and avoid negative people. See, feeling stuck in your career during midlife does not mean that you are a failure. You know, a lot of people think that. It's a sign that you are ready for more. Embrace this opportunity for growth, take action and turn this challenge into a spectacular midlife makeover. You've got this. If this video resonates, kindly leave your comment and please don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your friends who might be going through a similar transition. Keep reminding yourself midlife is not a crisis, it is an opportunity. At Midlife Med, my approach revolves around motivating, exploring and nourishing uh, the keys to not just surviving but thriving during midlife transitions. Explore our articles by subscribing for free at midlifemen.com. It will help you discover ways to redefine your life's direction and, and embrace the opportunities that midlife brings. Uh, don't forget to check the, the, check the midlife score on the website. Uh, make sure to check out the, the next video and uh, thanks for watching.